Hi, I'm Jonathan, founder and CEO of Geyser Systems. I just want to thank you uh, for joining me and um, on behalf of our crew, thank you for giving us the opportunity to do what we love. Um, in the next couple minutes, I'm about to share with you a new water technology that's going to redefine how we live on planet Earth. But before I do, I just want to share where did this entire endeavor start and where does it come from? Um, I'm going to share it with you in the form of a very fun story. So uh, the story begins four years ago. I'm quitting my job. I'm selling everything I own. And um, after working for corporate America for 10 years, uh, designing and engineering advanced surgical instruments, I decided I really needed to take a break because I was going, at that time in my life, I was going through what I call a, a dark night of the soul. Um, my mental health was not doing very well. Anyway, um, and because I am having a hard time asking for help, I decided to isolate myself. And what that looked like was going all the way to Australia, living in the back of this van, um, which is like, welcome to my home. And um, I lived in the back of this van alone for a year in the middle of nowhere, very remote locations, the bush, the Australian outback. And uh, just spent long periods of time away from like away from people. And uh, every day while I was out there, I was facing a very big problem. I was getting dirty. Problem was if I took a shower, I would use all my drinking water. And in the Australian Outback, running out of water is like a really bad idea. <laughs> so I just didn't take showers for weeks, sometimes longer and yeah, this, this is a big problem. The problem was like so bad that I smelled like some homeless beggar in the corner of a street. And uh, a couple months into this trip, uh, just the isolated lifestyle that I was living was really leading me to some even darker places. And, um, you know, with my mental health degrading, I'm feeling like I'm an outlier, not fitting into society, my self-esteem slowly eroding away. And it was, it, it's really ironic, really. It was like a really confusing feeling because I'm in this car, you know, like I'm driving forward, but yet at the same time, I just felt stuck. <laughs> it was like hitting rock bottom in life. And um, a major turn happens at that point of my trip. And there was an Australian family that sees, um, sees what I'm going through. And uh, despite the fact that I felt like I didn't belong anywhere, um, out of their compassion and extraordinary kindness, they invited me to their home. And... Um, just give me an opportunity to, to restock on water and food. And, you know, they, they had no idea like how badly I needed help. And, um, and I'll never forget I'm in their home for, or I'm, and I mean, it's not just their home, but I'm like, I'm in a home for the first time in months after being in nature not seeing a single straight line, you know, like it was just like, just extended periods of time out in the middle of nowhere. And, um, I, I'll, I'll never forget when I was standing in their shower and I didn't even have the knob turned on. I was just, I'm just standing in the shower and I'm looking up at the shower head <laughs> and it was like, it was like some alien device to me. It was just like, it just was really strange. And that's when I realized like my relationship to water up to that point was one that I really took for granted. 
And um, when I turned the knob to start my shower, I rediscovered this transformative power of water. And I mean, you may imagine like, oh, refreshing. Uh, let me tell you, after not showering for a couple weeks, it was a lot more than just refreshing. Um, water was reminding me um, that I'm not the sum total of my past experiences. And um, I'm not the sum of all these incomplete, toxic and hard relationships that I've collected and ran away from up to that point in my life. And it was just water was just giving me this power to make something new of myself. It just gave me a fresh new start. Um, it restored my my dignity, if you will, in a really powerful way. And that's when I found water just to be absolutely sacred. So I'm back in this van and um, I've got this new sacred relationship with water. And I'm just like thinking about it. It's like this question just going after me in the middle of the night. It was, it was like just how do I make the most of every drop of water? I, I just, I couldn't let go of that question because I, I really wanted to make the most of every drop of water in the back of this van. And that question, it just like stops me in my tracks because I knew if I answer that question, it would be an answer that changes the world because um, living in this van, it just gave me a, a lot of compassion, empathy, and some real experience of like, what 2.3 billion people who are living in water stresses of the regions of the world, like it gave me an idea of what they're going through while living in the back of this van. They have a limited relationship to water. I just want you to imagine like what it's like to not restore your dignity or what it's like to not have a revived sense of the human spirit. And I mean, I mean, let me be humbled here. Like the majority of those people have it way worse than I did while I was living in the back of this thing. Cause like 1.6 billion people in the world have to walk up to five hours with a bucket over their head just to get clean drinking water. I had clean drinking water in the back of this van. They had it way worse. And by the way, the majority of those 1.6 billion people are women who are not pursuing careers. They're spending a whole bunch of their time just getting their basic needs met and the basic needs of their family met. So this is like not just a water issue. It's like a a human rights or a women's rights issue, if you will. And I mean, that's for just the clean drinking water, right? I mean, there's 20 million people in the world who are still drinking contaminated water with human feces in it. Because I mean, people in those areas are still defecating in streets and rivers. And this is a big problem because I mean, this is causing children to die from cholera, diarrhea, dehydration, water-related diseases. So, gang, here's what's up. How in the world are we supposed to build a prosperous world? How are we supposed to build an inspiring future with thirsty souls, contaminated water, and empty streams? And that's a question that I asked myself and helped me make a very important decision in my life. I'm going to commit my life to redefining the approach to every drop of water for everyone. And I know that we all share a high standard of living here in the United States. And some of you may be thinking like, oh, well, this is not really my problem. I get that. Um, and some of you may be thinking like, oh, you've got some really lofty goals. All right, yeah, I get it. And in many cases, it's like a 
an act of faith. Um, but here's the thing. Let me just give you a fair warning here. There's 11 cities in the globe that are quickly approaching day zero. And if you don't know what day zero is, it's the day when they run out of tap water, well water. They have to start importing water just to sustain life in their cities. And the United Nations, by the way, they just published a report saying, hey, by 2050, 50% of the world's population is going to be living in a water stressed condition. So look, I'm just not going to sit idly by and just watch this mess unfold. I say we can alter the course of the world's water crisis. How? Well, we need to have a different approach and relationship to water. And I invite you to consider making it really sacred and making the most of every drop of water. Um, you know, today's shower, if you look at it, it consumes 17.5 gallons of water on average. With the geyser system, we only consume 0.8 gallons of water, just three liters. And um, that's a lot less water. And um, the way this works is essentially the world's most advanced energy efficient. It runs off of 12 volts. Um, you can plug into your car socket or your cigarette socket in your car. And it's got two parts. You got a pump that operates almost like your heart. The more you need, the faster it's going to pump. And then instead of using a shower head that's dispersing water everywhere, um, we disperse water through a scrub that's putting water exactly where you need it. That way you're making the most of every drop of water. And each of these scrubs are going to say 1500 gallons over the life of the scrub. And they're very affordable. They easily click into a unit that could be shared with the community. And um, this is not an idea. This is actually available at REI. People who love the outdoors and people who are living in the back of vans like this, um, they can stay clean without, you know, using all their water. So why am I sharing this with you? Well, Look, we, we're we looking, I think all of us are looking for some form of a very fulfilling life and to be part of an organization that's really committed to transformation, creating new possibilities, and just inspiring everyone with integrity. And... Uh, I think now more than ever, the world really needs all three. So if you know anyone, a global leader or anyone that is really up to redefining how their region or their country is using water and wants to make a difference for the 2.3 billion people who are living in the water stress regions of the world, then send them my way. Uh, share my email. It's Jonathan at geysersystems.com. I'd love to chat with them. And um, look, I hope that this story inspires you to redefine how you live on planet Earth and how we're making the most of our precious sacred resources. Um, and wherever you are and wherever you go, just know that life is, you know, through all of its trials, its tribulations, its surprises, just trust that life is taking you through a path that is going to help you shift what's possible in the world. And uh, I really want to thank you for joining us in this mission and this vision uh, for the world. And um, love to hear from you. So just even drop me a line, share your thoughts. Um, and I look forward to hearing from you. Anyway, catch you guys on the flip side. Peace out.